love and life interested me so that I dared to knock at the door of the cosmos. African Cosmology's The End of Waiting, Liminal Life. Working through different strategic modes of operation, such as agency, satellite and archive, has helped Autograph navigate the hostile landscape of photographic histories. The employment of these multi-directional ways of working has meant that for over 30 years, Autograph has continued to facilitate deep interventionist and complex lines of inquiry across, through and into photography's Eurocentric epistemic bedrock. Commissioning artists to produce new photographic work and caring for overlooked and underrepresented images by bringing them into Autograph's collection means that different but coexisting visual narratives produced during these and other tough and challenging times can have a place to rest untroubled as photographs also deserve times of peace. Here, within the care of Autograph, they can be permanent, secure and anchored until they are found by future-like minds of inquiry and put to work as aids in the understanding of our collective past. The unknowing aspects of production, the making, feeling, doing process, the unformulated spaces and times of our creative being are where our humanity's core and responses reside and where praxis as a form of survival flourishes. If we do not provide the space for coexistence, justice, recognition, reparation, making and sharing, history will remain a tragic form of denial, full of angry ghosts that will continue to haunt our cultural institution. The cultural ghost, as Mariana Enrique reminds us, and I quote, is about that which has been silenced, all those things that a society does not want to see. They are more powerful when they appear in the form of the supernatural because that way you can't ignore them. They scare you because they are full of rage. My ghosts are angry and they are angry because they have been ignored and because of what has happened to them has been ignored, not just by one person, but by society. The system ignores them and the only way to break that silence is by screaming. End of quote. Over time and space and through never-ending liminal ways of working, Autograph has been able to engage with artists through visiting both the familiar and seeking out the unfamiliar in the body politic of cultural production. Where words become images and images become words, where bodies become signs and signs become bodies, images like the written word and spoken word transmit cultural knowledge, fuel memory, and root a people's sense of being to their place of belonging. Commissioning new works by artists assists in nurturing unique expressions and reviving old formations of photography to have agency. Looking again at that which has passed cultivates a more fertile, nuanced and inclusive record of our time. This cultural approach operates as a form of resistance work, word by word and image by image, aims to dismantle the brutal and universalizing modernist mindset. It contributes to and builds on forms of transdisciplinary education and knowledge production. In this type of work, the many others of the world, especially those subjected to and silenced by myriad forms of Western violence, may be seen and heard in our present and more importantly, have a voice in times to come. Photography is omnipresent, sensorial, multidirectional, a layered, fluid, sonic, creative process that permeates and resonates across our planet. The radicality of recognizing the sensorial or disruptive jazz-like experience of photography is that it frees the viewer from the confines of a purely Eurocentric aesthetic desire to contain, frame, chart, collect, and own all the meanings an image might produce. Working towards a more improvised and receptive way of thinking through photography opens up space for sensing, feeling and perceiving the work that a photograph generates across different individual, temporal and cultural experience. This is where repressed knowledges are free and alive, shared and embraced, 
and nothing is history, as everything that has passed is alive with us in the present, moulding, reworking our sense of humanity, reminding us of the duty we have to embrace and produce acts of restorative, decolonial care as a core function of our daily lives. Otherwise, as James Baldwin reminds us, in the end, it is the threat of universal extinction hanging over all the world today that changes totally forever the nature of reality. We human beings now have the power to exterminate ourselves. This seems to be the entire sum of our achievement, end of quote. A situation we surely have to address, reverse and undo. Officer Peter Thomas is the first African to be granted His Majesty's commission as a pilot in the Royal Air Force. Before the war, he was a civil servant in Lagos, the capital of Nigeria. When war broke out, he volunteered for the Royal Air Force and set his heart on being a pilot. Not every man can reach the high standard of physical fitness and mental ability demanded of a pilot. Courage, Industry and tenacity are needed to finish the long and exacting course, and many fall out before the end. But Thomas kept at it, and at length came the proud day, proud both for him and for his unit, when he put up his wings. Pilot, able to fly any type of aircraft, and he's passed that most difficult of all tests, the course in blind flying.
the colonial people have not shrunk from the difficult and arduous tasks of war, but from the beginning have shown that they are able and ready to take their place side by side with all the peoples of the empire in the battle for freedom. Thank you.